hi guys welcome back to my channel my unapologetic squad i just want to come on here real quick and apologize to my subscribers for kind of taking a pause on uploading content i understand that a lot of people come on here because they want content and there are a lot of content creators who continue to post different things for their page and for their subscribers but some of us are truly affected by what's going on in the world i for one am one of them um, i've been trying to use my platforms not just youtube but other platforms that i belong on to bring awareness to what's currently going on right now with uh black lives matter and the police brutality and so on and so forth so i for one has taken a break from uploading on my upload days i hope that you guys can understand what i'm going through at this time i'm just not feeling inspired to upload content that doesn't relate to what's currently going on you know in today's society in our world concerning blacks the rights for blacks justice for blacks um, police brutality concerning blacks and um so yeah that's where i'm at and that's not to say or discredit any other content creators who choose to upload other videos and other type of videos to continue the progress of their channels it's to each its own however um like I said, for myself, I am going to be bringing awareness for what's currently going on at this time. It's not to say that I won't at some point in time create some type of content for you guys that you guys enjoy and that you like. But I will never sit in silence when I have a platform with a thousand people on it who are who are viewing it constantly and choose to say nothing to bring awareness to what's currently going on so that's where i'm at with this and i appreciate my unapologetic squad for being supportive and understanding during this time i also want to um, bring awareness on today today is brianna taylor's birthday uh, she also was killed by police um I also have right here listed for you guys a number that you guys can call to support her movement and the movement on behalf of her death. She was killed because she was wrongly identified by police and her boyfriend also here, Kenneth Walker, was arrested and is still currently in jail from what I understand because of this incident. So there is a, a number that's listed so we could call and support them on their movement in bringing justice not just for her but for her her boyfriend as well i know that um there's a lot of people out there who doesn't understand quite the reason for why this is happening why are people protesting why are people rioting why are people looting why is this currently happening why did the death of george floyd cause such a major reaction across the globe well this has been continuing for many 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 years you know this has always been a problem this has always been an attack against black individuals not just black men black boys black girls it's been happening across the globe and we need to bring awareness to what is going on because it's continuously happening and it's not right for blacks to lose their life based on things that are being done every day, crimes that are being committed every day. It's not to say that we are to excuse when crime happens, but a person does not have to die because they commit an offense. A person does not have to lose their life because they're simply walking, running, jogging, you know, or just visiting in a neighborhood where they're not noticed or they're not recognized. This is constantly happening to us, constantly happening to black individuals. And we need to bring awareness to what is going on and put a stop to police brutality. Now, I know that there are people out there who say, 
I stand behind all lives matter. And they really don't understand the concept of why we are protesting about black lives matters because blacks are not being treated fairly. They are not being treated the same as other people. Other people aren't losing their lives because they're simply walking through a neighborhood with a hood on their head and they look suspicious. All lives can't matter when black lives are not included in that. Black lives specifically matter when we start being looked at, treated like our lives make a difference and matter. So when you hear somebody say, well, all lives matter, it's like they're saying that this isolated event, this isolated situation does not matter and that in the event, everybody's lives matter. It just that doesn't make sense when we're not being treated the same. So that's why I shed light on this. I also know that there are people out there who don't understand why people are protesting in the masses. But when we had celebrities like Colin Colin Kaepernick, who took a knee along with other players to bring awareness and justice to to police brutality, People frowned upon this. This was a peaceful protest. This was him using his platform, his fame to bring awareness to the cause. And yet he was scrutinized because of it. And look where we are today. It's continuously happening and nothing is changing. And nothing has changed. So now we sit here and we have another incident that has occurred with George Floyd. And we sat and watched a murder happen right before our eyes on TV. This guy was killed by the police. And even when he stated that he could not breathe and we seen his life decline, we still argue and debate over right from wrong. So now people are in outrage. They are pissed off. They are upset. They are fed up. They are tired of not being heard. And as a result of anger, this is what happens. You have peaceful protests that turn into violent protests. I say violent protests because these protests are turning into riots. And these rioters are out looting and burning down buildings and causing chaos and confusion amongst the people out there who initially went out to protest and on behalf of Black Lives Matter. So we have it here where we're fighting for justice. We're fighting for a voice. We're fighting for change. And it's because of this incident, we are able to bring these racist cops to justice and make them accountable for their actions and make the police departments look into the history of these officers and see that there were other events that have occurred during their time as officers and see that they need to look further into their employment while they're employing these people as officers. It's caused police departments across the world to change their policies and change their ways of handling incidents because of this isolated event, this isolated incident, I should say. That's the reason why the looting, the riots, And the protests, whether they're peaceful or not, is causing change. Is it right? Not entirely is it right. But when you have people who are not being heard, like Colin Kaepernick, who on public display demonstrated a peaceful protest, was not heard. The door was literally slammed and shut and he was blackballed. And later, stripped of his career because he was trying to shine a light 
on what was currently going on in the world and what currently is continuing to go on in our days today. So I know that there are people who are still out there wondering, how do we cause change? How, what do we have to do to create change? And the first thing I say is vote, vote for change, vote for your local officials, vote for the president, you know, pay attention, read, educate yourself on the people who are running for these different spots in your local, on your local ballots. We can be a voice in our communities if we vote. If you do not vote, then you cannot have a voice. If you do not vote, then how is it that you could stand up and even have an opinion about what's currently going on in the world? So I say vote. I challenge you all to go out and vote. Prepare yourselves to vote. Look forward to the elections and create change by voting Help others around you who might not know what it takes to go out and vote. Help the people around you who may not physically be able to get up and go out and vote. Be that person who wants to create change and vote. Here I found some information online for a few states that still have time to go out and vote. Also, you can go online to vote.org vote.org is a site that helps you and gives you information on everything you need to know to vote while you're educating yourselves to go vote i just want to say go out and promote and stand behind some of your local groups who are out protesting be a voice be a reason for change great things are happening washington dc has planted painted Black Lives Matter on some of their streets. We are the reason for change, you guys. We are the voice and we the people can cause change if we stand up for something. Stand up for what you believe in. We may not see change in our generation, but for those of us who have children, we are fighting for their generation. So I just want to end by saying thank you guys for listening Thank you guys for being patient with me on my platform and being understanding, understanding that this is a hard time for some of us and be supportive. Continuously be supportive to platforms who are trying to bring awareness to this tragedy that's going on in our world today. I just want to say I love you guys. You guys be blessed be safe out there if you're going out protesting be safe if you guys want to continue to promote and to follow me and support my channel you guys can also find me on different channels i'm also on instagram i'm on twitter and yes i even have a tiktok i'm not as active there but i am there and you'll be seeing more videos in the future, in the near future. Until then, I just want to see you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys for watching.